Today, we're diving into a fundamental financial metric that can help investors evaluate stocks, the price to sales ratio, or PS ratio. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what the PS ratio is, but also how to calculate it. So let's get started. The price to sales ratio, or PS ratio, is a valuable tool for investors. It's a simple yet powerful way to assess the valuation of a company. But what exactly is it? The PS ratio measures the relationship between a company's stock price and its total revenue or sales. In essence, it tells us how much investors are willing to pay for every dollar of a company's sales. Let's break down the formula. PS ratio is equal to stock price sales per share. The stock price is straightforward. It's the current price of one share of the company's stock. Sales per share represents the total revenue a company generates divided by the number of shares it has outstanding. To calculate sales per share, sales per share is equal to sales shares outstanding. Now we can calculate the PS ratio. PS ratio is equal to stock price sales per share. An ideal PS ratio is subjective and can vary between industries. Generally, a low PS ratio suggests that the stock may be undervalued, while a high PS ratio might indicate overvaluation. Let's put this into a practical example. Imagine two companies, Company A and Company B. Now let's calculate their PS ratios. For Company A, PS ratio is equal to $40, $400 million, 20 million shares. PS ratio is equal to 1. For Company B, PS ratio is equal to $80, $200 million, 10 million shares. PS ratio is equal to for Company A has a PS ratio of 1, while Company B has a PS ratio of 4. This suggests that investors are willing to pay more for every dollar of sales for Company B, potentially indicating it's overvalued compared to Company A. And there you have it. The price to sales ratio or PS ratio is a valuable metric for investors to assess a company's valuation. Remember, it's just one piece of the puzzle, and it's essential to consider it alongside other financial metrics. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.